strategist Savannah Brito. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back and happy Tuesday. Temperatures out there cold, especially with the wind chill factored in this morning. You will want the winter gear, at least a winter coat. Although temperatures are going to rise into the 30s, lower to mid 30s at best. Wind chills will not make it out of the 20s this afternoon. 29 currently at the airport, 28 in Rochelle, 27 in Poplar Grove, 28 in Dixon, and 29 if you're waking up with us from Freeport. But with the wind chill factored in, like I mentioned, it is a little bit cooler out there. Though those are as low as the teens across most of the area. 19 with the wind chill factored in DeKalb, 18 in Freeport, 17 in Monroe, 15. That's the coolest one in Galena. There are some 20s though, but that's still a lot chillier than air temperatures, which are in the upper 20s in Rockford. With the wind chill, it feels like we're down to 20 degrees only. Rochelle at 22, and that's the warmest. But like I mentioned, because wind speeds are going to be upwards of 15 plus miles per hour today, we are going to have wind chills factored in all day today. 13 miles per hour in DeKalb, 10 in Rockford, 7 in Rochelle, and up to 14 in Freeport. These are sustained winds. Gusts right now ranging up to about 15 miles per hour, between 15 up to 18. Those will rise and be between 20 to even 25 miles per hour by later this afternoon. Nothing develops on radar until this evening. After we do see average, at least temperatures are going to be a little bit cooler than average or near normal in the lower to mid 30s today, we are going to see clouds increase once we reach the afternoon highs, especially into tonight, but that could keep temperatures up, not compared to this morning. It is going to be a little bit cooler out there, but temperatures should remain in the mid 20s out there. If we do see any clearing, which models are showing now, that could keep temperatures kind of in the lower 20s, closer to the 20 degree mark. I think nonetheless, we'll all be below freezing level though tonight. I do think clouds then clear out tomorrow. Once we get past mid to late morning into the early afternoon, that should help temperatures warm up a little past what we'll see this afternoon mid to upper 30s tomorrow still not as warm as what we're tracking for the end of this upcoming work week Tuesday or Thursday into Friday that's when temperatures warm further we'll see temperatures also hold up a little bit better at nighttime once we get past tonight and tomorrow night as well then the 30s look to make a return at least closer to freezing level which is above normal mostly sunny skies right now and we do have that ridge that's building out to our east that's going to spread across the area like i mentioned bringing us warmer temperatures as early as tomorrow and the mid to upper 30s more so upper 30s is above average for us for this time of year that'll be the way most of the country is and we could even even see above average temperatures leading us up to Christmas, even into Christmas time, which would make a white Christmas less and less likely this year. We did see one last year. This is the 17th to the 21st. The extended outlook looks to be even warmer as that above normal transition, kind of the bullseye across the state line. So if you like warmer weather, that's good news for Christmas. If you're hoping for a white Christmas, not necessarily good news then. 35 Tuesday, 37 Wednesday, and then we're back to the mid 40s as early as Thursday, guys.